I want you to check out this kid from Minneapolis who isn't letting anything or anybody stop him from pursuing his dream. Okay. Here's one. Thank you. Back in 2016, Jaquan Faulkner dusted off his uncle's old hot dog grill and decided he was going to spend his summer working. Well, I started and I just didn't do nothing with it. And then I realized that I enjoyed it. And so I kept going. But just as Mr. Faulkner's old-fashioned hot dogs was taking off, someone put in a complaint with the health department. That's when Neon came. Neon, the Northside Economic Opportunity Network, provides training and support for underserved entrepreneurs like Jaquan. They said, we'll help you get the license and everything. Uh, if you have any questions, just come down and talk to us. Instead of shutting him down, Neon and the health department helped the 13-year-old get everything he needed to pass the inspection, even paying for his permit. It makes me feel kind of, well, not kind of, really proud that people know what I'm doing. Do they get their receipt? I don't want to stop. I had some uncle that my uncle's like, but then you have to keep on. We're going to keep on. I'm like, OK, I'm ready. All right, everybody, give it up for Jaquan Faulkner. What's up, boy? <laughs> yeah. Jaquan, before we get started, I got to talk to you about that haircut, player. <laughs> Ooh, that's how I like it. Yeah. I used to have one of them, man. I was nice. I had a nice high talk. Man, you make me miss it, man. How you doing? All right. Yeah. All right. How'd you, how'd you come up with the name for your business? Like, it, it's, it's my business, but if, if I, like, if I needed somebody to pass it on to, I want them to know that it's still my business, but just I'm passing it on to a family member. Yeah. They still have Mr. Faulkner, so it'll still be yeah. their last name. Yeah, yeah. So, I got you. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. Now, let me ask you something. Was your uncle cool with you setting up shop right outside the house? <laughs> he was actually kind of mad. He actually didn't want to, because when I first set up, I didn't take, like, take it serious, yeah. but this time I, I noticed I had to take it serious, but he didn't think I had that in me, so he was still getting mad. My was like, if that's something you want to do, let him do it. And I kept going, kept going, and now he know that I want to take it serious. Yeah. Now, this whole story came about because someone reported this kid for selling hot dogs without a permit. Just let me say this. Stop calling on kids that ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> ain't you got nothing else to do? But this actually turned out great. Because when, when a hater try to stop you, what they don't know is what the plan is. So you saw on the tape, after they reported him, he had to go down there to the place. Well, the guys liked him so much, and all the people down there, they got behind him and just started helping him get the correct permits and all like this. They didn't shut him down. They showed him how to be bigger. So the whole community rallied behind this kid. Because they went, wow, what is that right there? So let, let, let me ask you this right here. What's your favorite part about selling hot dogs to people? <clears throat> My favorite part about selling hot dogs to people is when they come up and I, I'm able to greet them with a smile. Most important part about having a business is customer care. And that's when yeah. they want to be treated as a, as a family. <laughs> this little dude right here is smart. I love that. I want to thank his uncle, Jerome, and Aunt Donna. They're here in the audience. How you folks doing today? All right. All right. How did you... How, how did how'd you feel about him getting involved in business, getting set up and everything? I didn't think he was going to be serious because he did it in 2016 for two days. OK. So 2017, he asked me again. I told him no. He didn't let that down. He didn't let it go. 2018, he asked me the same question. Can he sell hot dogs? And I looked at him like, are you serious? I said, OK. We're going to see what you're going to do. So we got him set up. And he ran with it. <laughs> so, I sat back. <laughs> so let me ask you this, Jaquan. How, how, how's the business since you got your permits? Since I got my 
permanent business have been great. Yeah. About, about how many hot dogs you think you can sell in a day, Jay Quan? A day, I think I could sell, at my best, around two to three hundred. At my best. <laughs> Probably more. Oh, I'm not including Polish yet. You got Polish boy? Yep. <laughs> you ain't got no Polish boy. Yes, I do. Look, okay, let me tell you this. You're doing pretty good, man. You done got legitimate. I, I also know that business costs can get expensive. So our friends at Conagra, who are famous for their Hebrew national hot dog brand, they heard all about the great work that Jaquan is doing, so they want to make sure that you continue to grow your hot dog business. So uh, they want to give you $10,000, man. <laughs> $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, now, Jaquan, now, you got some money now. <laughs> That's a big one. What's, what's your business plan kind of looking like? What you thinking? In the long run, I want to save up to get a little small restaurant, mm -hmm. but just for like something now where I can work up to that spot is I'm trying to get a, a mobile cart so I'm able to tr travel and let people oh. know where I'm at. Yeah. See, that way you can get to where they at. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, let me take this for a minute, man, because I need to hook you up with one of my friends. He happens to know a little bit about business and success. From Shark Tank, everybody welcome my buddy Damon John. <laughs> So proud of you. What's up, What's up David? brother? How you so doing? Boy, how you feeling? All right. What's happening? You looking good. Ooh, you Damon. Looking good. This boy, we found out he was a huge fan of yours. Amazing, yes. amazing. I'm so, so proud of you. We're all proud of you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm told you're gonna cut down a couple of days at the hot dog stand to go make sure that, uh, you know, school is starting. You're gonna yes. try to be the best you can over there, right? Yes. You know, I, th I think that that is absolutely incredible. Cause you know, when you're doing the hot dog stand, you're gonna learn about a little bit of business and how to treat customers, I saw you. But school is really what's gonna teach you science, math, and everything else that you're not gonna necessarily learn there. So I think, I think that's absolutely amazing. Too many people try to just do one or the other, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's good, so. man. So I have a surprise for you. So we called up my buddies over at Hamaker Schlumberger, and we have for you right now a hot dog stand. <laughs> Your own very hot dog stand. There you go, look at it. Oh! Yeah. Now, now, now don't take that $10,000 and put no rims on it. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't take that $10,000 <laughs> and put rims on it. Yeah. But it's really, it's really, really important, and I think that that's important for you. And I wanted to personally also give you something to further your education, because, you know, when school ends, the education doesn't stop. Life is about series of learning. So what I want to give to you is a brand new laptop. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. That is for school, inside and outside. I also loaded that with my entrepreneurial course called Damon On Demand Forever. Yeah. It's yours. And we're very, very proud of you. Thank man, you, Steve, that's for giving so me good, this opportunity, man. No, man, that's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool, Dave. I tell you, man, for, for him to drop everything he was doing, because we told him about this kid and he was a big fan of his, and for him to come on the show, and then come on the show with something. You know, yeah. gave this kid need a cart. We got a cart, and then he downloads this success thing and teaching him the right way, computers. You know, that's what, this is the world. Turn this kid into something, man, you never know, man. This could be really good. I think it's gonna be great. I saw him, look how, look how sharp he's dressed. Hopefully, you know, he'll grow up to be a mogul. We need somebody to replace Kevin O'Leary on Shark Tank, so <laughs> uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. 
Hey, Jaquan, thanks for being here, buddy. Thank you for having me. You're pretty that. sharp, little man. Thank you. Hey, give it up one more time for Damon John. You can catch him on Shark Tank October 7th at 10, 9 Central on ABC. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.